Right? Yeah, <laughs> been, been fortunate enough to. Yeah. Kenny, how's it feel? Back. Feels great. Feels great. Um, most importantly, you know, having that continuity with his team, players, coaches, and uh, obviously my family and friends are here today. We just talked to Rigo, kind of have a similar story. Showed up here, what, 2017? Right. right. Now this is contract number three. I mean, can you reflect on, I know we've, we asked you this a lot, but this is, this is another step in the journey. You know? Uh, I just, my mentality coming into the league, my mindset was just trying to get my foot in the door. From there, I just did my best to earn the trust of my coaches and teammates. And then trying to be consistent as possible uh, to be the best player I can be on the field. Let that travel throughout the community and my character. And, uh, you know, uh, the people that I've been working with you know, trusted me enough to give me a, a, big, a bigger and better responsibility. And I came with a bigger role on the team. And then eight years down, down the road, I'm here. Kenny, what would, like, 2017 you think about this journey? You said 2017? Yeah, like rookie year. Like, would you believe this? I would. I, I think uh, in, in training camp, in New England, I proved myself to myself that I was built for this league. I, was, I belong in this league, and and I just kept that chip on my shoulder each day, uh, each game, and um, just to be standing right here and you know having the same seat that I've had since I got here, September third of 2017, is that's all I ever wanted was to have a home somewhere. Can you the other year the said you really wanted to be back here. How confident at that point were you that this would work out? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, just as confident as anyone else in the room. Um, I don't know. Maybe I, I guess it was just, you know, 50-50. You don't really know how the business side of things, you know, play out. And, um, you know, coming into the 2023 20, season, I just had the mentality and mindset to, you know, my resume is going to be everything I, I make it on the field. And then from there, um, I have no control. And so I just did all I could to, to represent best as possible, and uh, we made it work. With all of the moves they've done, re-signing their own, which Chris does, he, he keeps his people around. Is that a reflection of, I guess, one, the talent that you guys bring? And how close maybe you guys are to doing, to being something really strong here as a team? Um, I think it's evident, you know, the guys that we have in the room uh, that are staying, staying around. Um, the leadership that we bring to the team and, and you know, obviously the, the physical aspect, the stats and all that, that's, that's fine. But I think it's more than just that. I think if... You know, if we brought that physical aspect, you know, make, playmaking ability, but didn't have the character, um, you know, we wouldn't be here today. So um, I, I just think all around, you know, they want locker room guys. They want guys that, you know, have that integrity and, uh, you know, just do the right thing when no, nobody else is watching. So um, I just think it, it speaks um, at a high volume of the guys that he's resigning back. And we'll see how this thing unfolds, but do you guys, do you feel in the room that you're, Close to Value. something. I mean, you showed it last year how close you are. For sure. Um, you know, there's, there's a, there was a couple games. You know, last year we let you know slip away. It wasn't just the last game versus Houston, but um, that was just the result of the season. Um, we failed, and uh, we know how close we are to get back to it. Kenny, was there any point on Monday or Tuesday where you thought maybe you wouldn't be re-signed here and you signed somewhere else? Uh, of course, of course. That's the business aspect. You know. I'm entitled to nothing, um, nothing at all. You know, I just do my best to work as hard as I can, and and uh, it'll play out the way it's supposed to. Is what I believe. What What would it mean to you? You know, you're in line now to be a ten-year guy with one team. It doesn't happen very much. In the NFL. What, does that, <laughs> what does that mean to have to be able to do that? I think that's a certain uh, patch on your jacket. You know, one day I think. Uh, for one to play 10 years in the league is, is, is amazing. And then 
to do it 10 years with one team uh, will just be another uh, stripe on the jacket. So, um, you know, we're not there yet. I'm going on year eight. So uh, we just want to make year eight the best year yet. You got to see, like, you know, like Jack, I think Jack quite made Ken really. He played the whole, the whole Jack Doyle the whole time in his Colts, with the Colts, that kind of thing. What do you think that means for, like, the relationship with the community? Because I know that you've got a great relationship with Indy, just being able to be here this time. Uh, no matter if it's one year, two years, 10 years, 20 years, uh, you know, staying here post-career, whatever it is, um, uh, it just goes to your character, you know, whether, you know, the people of Indianapolis like you or not. Um, I think they know great people. There's great people in this city. And so they're able to sniff it out. You know, if they, they know if you're genuine or if you're vulnerable, um, if you mean well. So uh, just to be that type of guy um, that I hope to be and I do my best to be, um, that, that's all I can give. Uh, you're looking at the people right here that, uh, that I have in my corner that, uh, that keeps me straight. So, um, you know, all credit goes to my mother, my family, my friends and family. So, uh, loved ones for sure. Kenny, I, I know you, you wanted to be here, obviously you've expressed that, but, um, I know as of Monday, you, other teams could reach out to you. Um, <laughs> And you've never been a free agent before, right? So I, I'm wondering if any party was it was it reinforcing was did it reinforce something to you, to to get that interest or attract that interest from other teams? Like you know, I'm I'm a guy, you know what I mean? Even though it worked out well, the right what you wanted, does that make sense? Um, kinda. I mean, <laughs> you can say no. <laughs> I, I mean, kinda here and there. Uh, it was a little because vague. My point is like you know. You've never been a free agent before. You've never had the experience of like, hey, what do other teams think of me? That kind of thing. You, you maybe got a flavor of that, I assume. This one. It was a thrill. <laughs> we all like ourselves, right? Do you For sure. <laughs> How much do you love <laughs> <laughs> They uh, put you up on the side of the soil late last season. What did that mean to you? And then I guess, do you ever catch yourself kind of seeing pictures of that and thinking, Oh, that's just a, a kid's dream. Uh, we want stuff like that. You know, we play video games. We grew up, you know, uh, watching that, you know, uh, for other players growing up. So uh, to be that player, uh, you know, that a city and that a team, you know, honors to that certain degree, um, I can't even express, you know, how much that means, how much, you know, I'll be able to see that on game day. So. Uh, that'll be the first motivation, you know, just waking up in the morning, thanking God, and obviously just, you know, driving down uh, and seeing that picture. Uh, that's that'll be the the first pump up of the day. Be the uh, highest paid slot corner again. What does that mean to you? Um, that means a lot, you know, not just from my point of view of you know individual. Um, I've been fortunate to have coaches to put me in a position to, you know, make make plays for this team and uh, just do my best to execute uh, with the perfect positioning of the coaches, you know, and the game plan. So uh, we just we just executed it. We just made it happen. But um, there's there's a long way to go. There's a long way to go for. Um, I think there's a lot of room to to be better and uh, to correct. The small things. So along those lines, I mean, you've accomplished a lot. What's what's next? What's the next step? Is like this. That's a that's a good one. Um, obviously, individually or yeah. collectively. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I, w I would love to go back, you know, and be a Pro Bowl player, mm -hmm. be a Pro Bowl corner, um, All Pro. You know, everything that every single player in this league wants to be. And uh, that's why I like, you know, the defensive back position. That's why I like the AFC, because we have the, the best guys uh, at my position to 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 want to be the best at. And so um, I'm working each day to, to be that person and to be that person for the Colts.